we can confirm to you right now that there are a lot of clubs in the Premier League and they have not been affected to a level that Liverpool have been affected by the COVID-19. So you wonder what is really happening that is causing all these things to happen because football is it's not stopping. That's one thing that people need to know. Football is not stopping. It doesn't matter if your 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 teammate or your player or whoever has been caught with COVID-19. Football is not stopping. So it's actually advisable that they find a better way to control these diseases so that they don't find themselves in this vulnerable to other Premier League clubs with good players who are still fit and they have not been affected by COVID-19. So I don't know. I think the Premier League combined with Liverpool, they need to look at this case a little bit more further into their clubs and how their players are handling protecting themselves against COVID-19. Because now in Liverpool, I, I keep a lot of tags with Liverpool because of course that's my club, so I always know what is happening. Firstly, it was uh, Thiago Akantara. So people, some people were saying that maybe it happened because remember he was just close to his transfer. So maybe he was still coming from these things and that, that led to him getting COVID-19 and stuff like that. And secondly, it was Sergio Mane. And the miss of Sergio Mane, it's what got us, get, it is the reason why we got humiliated to be beaten more than, how many, how many, how many were we beaten? 7-2 by none other but Aston Villa guys Aston Villa embarrassed Liverpool by beating them by 7 goals to 2 and it, it was led that one of our biggest players or two of our biggest players have COVID-19 who are fit to actually play football they have COVID-19 also okay okay also we didn't have Alisson that we cannot forget that part at the same time we didn't also have who didn't we have J Adam Anderson remember the captain Anderson left and went because of an injury he picked up so he wasn't there also so all these things played a part but it led us to the embarrassment that we did receive and the beating that we did receive so something needs to get sorted and need to be get, need to get sorted very very soon if we are gonna compete or if you are gonna work so hard to retain this premier league trophy at the same time liverpool needs to get away or need to find a way to deal with protecting their players against COVID-19 and as much as we are being told that it's only in the Premier League they have only mentioned Thiago, Mane and Shakire, but other rumors are saying that also Konstantina Tsimukas also contacted COVID-19 so it's a problem you don't know right now that how many players are there going to be these other players of Liverpool who have left and went to join in this international break how many players are going to find themselves in exposure of the COVID-19 with them because you don't know maybe some are working with it while carrying it in their system while not knowing so that could be dangerous as well for other that's one thing that I don't understand why there are these international breaks in this situation where we are where they're going to make players go to different continents to play football that is just a means to keep making the COVID-19 spread elsewhere. I don't know. That's what I think. You can tell me what you think on the comment section. There's the the section you can actually talk about all the things you want. But anyway, we can't do anything about it, guys. We need to talk about all the transfers that have been done. And also about Liverpool. Like I said, I will be doing a video pretty much very, very soon where I'm going to cover all the games that have been played if i have to say maybe four the four games that have been played in the premier league since since the restart and we'll talk about all the things that has happened and what has actually caught a lot of people's attention and what may excited you so prepare for that it's gonna be exciting guys i can't wait because time is also moving and we have a lot of time as we have given our players almost around two weeks time for them to recover but some they'll be playing for the covenant but also it gives our managers and some of the bosses some time to rethink and actually strategize better because they've been affected with what has been happening in the premier league in the last two days at the same time the transfer was still open so it was still not yet clear which teams can we actually predict to finish on top of other teams 
it was also led by cause of the transfer news and also the COVID-19 played a part as well. All these things will cover that in this week where we wait for the players to come back. But before we go anywhere, guys, like I said, click subscribe. Don't forget to like the video and share this video to other people who, who are actually interested in watching it on your social medias. Like and subscribe. That is the best way you help us, guys. That is the best, best way. So be, without wasting any time now, let me move on to the purpose of this video. Like I told you, I'm going to be covering each and every deal that has been done by all the Premier League clubs since the window opened. We are gonna go through each and every individual clubs that are in the that are in the Premier League and talk about their deals. And to, at the end of the days, we are gonna reveal the winners and the losers in these transfer windows, what they've done and what they've not done. So, okay, before we go anywhere far, like I told you, the transfer between the Championship and the Premier League. Or the some league and champ and Premier League, it's not yet done, so it's gonna close until the 16th. Is it the 16th of October? So they can still do business. That is just something that is left. But in terms of international or in the same league to exchange with the Premier League, that is no more, it's no longer happening. So please click the subscribe and like the video and leave your comments in the comment section about all the transfers. If you agree with the players that have been included to your clubs or that have been introduced to your club, you tell me in the comment section if you are really liking what you're seeing. So